Yeah, hi there. And uh, these comments are for Kronthi and I am Michael, the founder owner and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. So you say I've taken the TOEFL exam twice and I got 74 and 71. Now I would probably just say there I took the exam twice and I got 74 and 71. I think the past the simple pass is going to work better than the present perfect here especially since you also have the simple pass here. So my required score is 80 in the speaking section I need 26. So you're giving me your subtotals right now. So reading, you had 21 and then 17. Listening, you had 14 and then 16. Speaking, you had 19 and 19. Writing, you had 20 and then 19. So you really need to improve, it looks like, reading, listening, speaking, and writing. You need to get a few points higher in each area. You say, I'm planning to take the exam within three weeks. Please help me. The best way I can help you right now is to tell you not to take the TOEFL test in three weeks. Once you need 26 here, this changes everything. You're telling me you want to go from 19 to 26. That's seven points in the speaking area in three weeks. It's just not realistic. It is not realistic. I mean, if you're lucky, I mean... You can do this maybe in three to six months. I'm being honest with you. I had one of my students, his score was 23 to 24 points on the speaking. It took him a whole year before he got 26. 26 on the speaking is really high. It's not easy. Your score right now, Kronthi, is 19 points in the speaking. What does that mean? That means that you have a lot of problems with language use when you speak. That means you have vocabulary problems. You have grammatical problems when you're speaking. You have a lot of delivery problems. You're not pronouncing a lot of your consonants and your vowel sounds correctly. You probably have problems with what's called syllable division, grammatical word endings. You most likely have some problems with word stress, sentence rhythm, intonation. And you also have problems with thought groups and blending. And you're also having some problems organizing and developing your ideas. You have a whole host of different problems with your speaking. And you're trying to solve all of these problems in three weeks. It's just not realistic. So the best advice I can give you right now is to take a break from taking the TOEFL exam and start building your academic English language proficiency. I can tell you how. However, if you want to do all this in three weeks, forget it. Don't even join my online course. I cannot help you in three weeks. Not based on the problems you're having right now. Okay, so if you can accept the fact that you probably need anywhere from three to six months of good solid study every day before you can reach your goal. If you're okay with that, then keep listening to this video. If you're not, you should probably stop watching the video at this point. Are you still there? Okay. Let's talk about what you have to do. So my advice to you is, is you, there's really three main things that you want to start doing in your study. And remember, you need to be doing these things for a minimum of three months or longer before you will get the results that you seek. Remember, the purpose here is I'm, I'm going to give you some suggestions on how you can build your academic English language abilities. This is what I'm going to do. First of all, get in the habit of reading every day for about 45 minutes. Your reading score is terrible. You have to improve that. How do you do that? You, you, you improve it through practice. So start reading magazines, newspapers, and longer books. Do this every day, every day for several months. This is very, very important. Now, in addition to doing daily reading practice, you should also be spending time with your listening skills. Your listening skills are also very low. So what do you do? Uh, again, about 30 to 45 minutes, practice your listening. You can use TV. If you have English TV, I have some suggestions. Programs that focus on news, history, documentary, 
and also science programs. Start listening to these kinds of programs on your television. Now, if you don't have English TV, but you do have access to the Internet, I have three specific websites that you can begin using today. And they're free. Number one, National Public Radio. Number two, TED Talks. Number three, Randall's Cyber Listening Lab. You can also use that. So that's, those three websites are fairly academic in nature. It's going to give you some really good practice in terms of helping you build your academic listening abilities. Remember here, you've got to be doing this stuff for a minimum of three months. You can't just do this for two or three weeks and expect to get big results. It's kind of like this. Let's say that you came up to me and said, hey, Michael, I want to lose 50 pounds in two weeks. I would say, no, you can't do that. That's not healthy. Now, if you say, well, I want to lose 50 pounds in one year or two years, I would say, okay, I can figure out a program that's going to help you lose the weight. You're doing it gradually. You're doing it naturally. You're doing it healthy, right? So I'm also saying it's not healthy to try to improve all of your English skills in just three weeks and expect good results. That's just not how language happens. Okay, now I've given you the first two suggestions. So a daily routine of, of reading and listening practice. Now, as you do the reading and the listening practice, get in the habit of note-taking. Focus on the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and the listening passages that you're practicing. Remember, you're choosing the material. You're choosing the content. Now, using your notes, I want you to write three academic summaries each week. Each summary should be 250 words. So that's 750 words of writing practice that you're doing. Number two, you should also use your notes to speak about the reading and the listening passages. So your assignment here, again, you want to do this for at least three months. You want to start speaking about the information by giving 60-second oral responses about reading and listening passages. This is also important. Each response should be 60 seconds, right? So now you're not just doing reading practice, you're not just doing listening practice, but you're also focusing on your note-taking practice, which is absolutely critical to all sections of the IBT exam. But you're also doing integrated writing and integrated speaking. You see what I'm saying? Now, the last thing that you want to do is start going through the lessons in my online TOEFL course. Really, you want to start doing that. So my suggestion is, remember, I have over 700 lessons to help you build your academic English language abilities. I suggest that you go through my lessons, first of all, by going through the vocabulary, pronunciation, and the grammar lessons. Do those first. That's probably the first month or so. Secondly, then complete the listening and the reading lessons in my course. That's also important. Then finally, you can focus on the writing and the speaking lessons in my course. Now, if you want, if you get a little restless and you want to start posting speaking and writing practice tests immediately, of course you can do that. You'll find the writing section of my course is in step number six, and the speaking section is in step number seven. So if you want to start doing the speaking and writing immediately, you can start doing that. And especially because your speaking needs to be so high, you can do that. But remember that your speaking problems are its not just about completing a practice test. You have to solve a lot of grammar problems, a lot of vocabulary problems, a lot of pronunciation problems. And you, you also have some problems with probably identifying main points from reading and listening passages and then speaking about those things. You see, that's why I've given you the plan that I have. The plan that I'm recommending for you, it will help you to solve the problems you're having right now with your speaking if you give yourself enough time to work out all these issues. Okay, my recommendation is follow my plan for at least 90 days. Then after 90 days or three months, you can take a full-length IBT practice test at my website. If you go to the eighth section of my course, you can learn about my full-length IBT practice test. These are not part 
of your initial $38 subscription fee. This is uh, in addition to that. My practice test with my discount, they cost a, an additional $34, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Because you're going to take the test in three weeks, right? You're going to spend $200 to find out that your speaking score is not 26 yet. What I'm saying is, is don't spend the $200. Postpone your exam. Start working on your academic English language abilities for at least three months. Work really hard. And then you can take a practice test to mark your progress. You can see where you are. At that point, you can make a decision. You can say, okay, I'm ready to take the TOEFL exam or I am not based on the practice test score that you get. You, you see what I'm saying? So those are my recommendations for you. Uh, the main thing, Kronthi, is to be patient. You can do this. You can reach your goal. But you have to understand that it's going to be very difficult. It will take a lot of work. But as long as you're consistent and you study on a regular basis, you will be able to, to reach your goal. All right. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, your comments on my website. And all the best to your high score and TOEFL success.